Welcome back everybody. And I'm um, here I am in my hard base. Getting this sorted out. And I've just spent all night digging. Getting as much rock as I can. And I'm upgrading all these to second level of cotton. Do because they know it's second level. Let's fill in these. Oh, yeah, it's a sharp size. Oh, I need to do that first. That's where the steps are. Well. Right, let's get some So I don't want them going up the steps and falling off, I want them to fall in, when they do fall down from the sledgehammer, the robot sledge, I want them to fall into each other, slow them down so they can shot them over back down to it. See when I get it set up, how it's going to work. So I carried on doing a little bit more after yesterday's video. But um, I ran out of concrete and Kawasan rock really fast, which she always do. There's one of this, so I've got another one there. Was. So I have to make sure that these are all concrete all the way around, because the zombies will be coming up here. And um, what I didn't show, because I stopped recording, so I actually got attacked by a wandering horde while I was building that up. So it tested out and it worked perfectly. And I can shoot through the bars to the entrance. And I might be able to jump up into there but I'm not too bothered. It might do that because that's where I'll be standing when the first come. I've run out already! Oh my gosh! Anyway... I've already run out. So that's what I'm about with the fences. That's what they look like all the way around at the bottom. So unfortunately I've still got my yeah, cement mixes. This is a great spot for shooting down at them. I can get right up to here. I'm just gonna go with a shotgun at them. I can just blast them to bits. Whenever I want, pretty much. So let's just leave a few bits and pieces. I might have a tiny amount of Oh yeah, I've got five of me have I got none! None! I've got none left. Let's just leave stuff here. We've got those steel hatches. Oh no, our own hatches are made. And what I'm going to do is take those two and make five repair kits. And leave that coffin. Just that will help me on hard mode. Back down to the base. That door. I don't know what I will show you. Is. So the gun is going to be here. The, uh, the auto turret is going to be pretty much here. So what I'll do? Hunker down. That will be here. Shooting in there, and that's this will be at sweeping range like this. So I'll be able to shoot them all the way up the stairs. And like that. Up to here. I've got to get it placed right, but that's how it'll do it. And then here, right in the front, top step, will be a robot sledge. And I'll be stood behind this door. I'll have bars on the steps. Not that many. But, um, those repair kits should have been done. Let's just jump in there. 
bring another go back and sort of thing. Got to bring in more ammo and stuff, but we're doing all right. You can see us running out of concrete yet again, because we always are. So that's the idea. I've got to fill these in. I have to wait for them to dry so I can do that top one. Which is dried, but I haven't got any. You need 10 per, per go. And all the way around. Well, I've got it up to level 3. And at least level 3 high. And at least one level of concrete. So just in case they decide to go around. Get them right off we go. Into the mega base. So this thing is just too big to defend on my own, really. Realistically, it is. So I know I've got more, some more concrete mix to be made. But I'm gonna have to make up more again. So the idea between this is like they have to jumps have to jump up, and I like can defend it from here. But it's a bit risky. It's good, but the whole piece I'm after beginning is it's just more suited to it. So decent defense. Bellows, because the, the other forge was destroyed. Had them both. I still don't have a crucible, I can't make steel. I need steel to make one of the 4x4 trucks. Let's see how much we've got. Let's see how much sand. Does take a while, another 500 it looks like. Out of what I'm already making, but it's still not going to be enough. I've got through so much. But that's the nature of it. The game is a bit grindy, it's not super grindy. But Building basis is grindy. Right, five six four, so that's two fifty and half. Plus thirty seven, so two eighty seven. My end up's terrible, so it's really seven. It's a shivery seven. Uh, new mask gurus out there. So we have a good laugh. Right, seven. That takes us up to 700, which is a good start. So we chuck the sand back in, get in. We chuck the sand back in. Most of those rocks out because I won't be many of them. Get a few more of these stones. If they do decide to attack or not, I can't really see them getting in now. 
Yeah, the place is massive. It's like a maze. That's my entrance to the tunnel. I cover. I can get in it, but I can't get out. I cover it. Up. I get in a hard night. I just put a block on it. Upgraded to cobblestone. But I won't need to be bothered about that. Just lock myself in. So I don't have to get into the panic stations. And, you know, I have to... I've got mad making, like, digging rock and making concrete and all that. I don't want to have to be bothered doing that. Because tomorrow's holiday. Tomorrow game time, day before. That's a hard day. Right, let's have a look around the outside. See which ones are dry, if any. I'm on lower levels. And I don't want to see Now I've got these. So let's get this top one done. First. No, oh, I've got a couple of stuff on me. The joys of base building is just upgrade these two. The one here because they're super important. And that one. There's the cobblestone. For operating bars, put them in there. There we go. So all these ones, these are going to be in the combat side. Especially these because they're at the front. And zombies are going to be getting blasted down here. At least that's the plan. So my own gun turrets on me or every time we miss, we be hitting the walls. It's bloody now. I get a pillar, pillar done when I can. So now I can get another one in here. No, no, I'll be able to lock in far enough for half a little bit. So let's get these ones done on the outside. Let's go to go to the to the first level of Of the grey ones here, that's what they look like. So that's what you, if, if you don't use the cobblestone rock, but if you do use cobblestone rock, you have to level it up twice, but that costs a total of 20 concrete mix. If you use the just take if you use the rebar, then it takes 30. You only have to upgrade it once and go straight to it. Still in boss concrete like this. Boy ones with spots.
I just want to make it sure that they can't get in. really need to do these ones but it doesn't hurt either so they look pretty good I'm gonna do that I might put another block in in fact I will I'm, I am gonna put another block in because let's see if I can do yeah I can I can do it because I can get those ones from the roof. So this will stop those horrible watch my car looks from jumping up. Spider monkey zombies. So it got so much trouble. So that's gonna be at the front. The sound of it with the music's playing suggests that there's more coming in. I'm gonna have to fight in my base like a chest. Yeah. How much have we got left? 155. That's So then, I need to do these ones. Because cups and vultures peak. That's why the bars are here already. Stop the vultures getting at me. them so that there's only one possible way in or out uh, unless you're me and you jump off the top which will be my escape plan jump off the top and run and go and hide in my main base get up on the roof so I shoot them yeah. I've decided although I've got intelligence up to 10 and I can build pretty much anything I decided not to bother with making traps I don't think they're that good Spikes are okay, you know, I just have them around the base, or, you know, around the base of the building. But, uh, I prefer sledge, rubber sledges, gun turrets, and my own guns. A few Molotovs. So this would be a pretty powerful horde. 
And the spider monkeys can jump so high. So eventually I build a bridge all the way onto my hard base. Because I just like doing the building in this game. And it's a good way for leveling up as well. Gives you tons of experience. If you've got nerdy glasses, which of course I have. Just move the dice in red. Same here, maybe more. So that's three seventy five each. I can have that. That's too many now. Seven sixty. Ah, uh, seven seventy then. Get them just in a few more. No more rock. Got 770, so that's 385. Now, I'm going 
grab whatever's here. Take them all. And then I'm gonna go and grab. Oh, I'm gonna go and grab my, uh, my gun charts. So that's 694, I'm 6, and uh, get to 700. I'm going to grab my gun turret and my robot sledge, or one of the gun turrets and the robot sledge, my best one. So I forgot I'm going to shut that door there. Go up this way. Again, this is designed for defenses against the Zombras. Like, I have to get in before I can open it, or I get in before I can close it. It's so tight. Robot sledges, it's right here. No, um. There's the robot sledge. I'm not gonna bother doing any of those repairs, there's no point. Oh no, wrong way. This space is so confusing. This is just above ground. That's m that was my former fighting position there. And then they're building it even more, trying to keep them up. But it doesn't work. They can get they can bash the way through concrete without that much hassle. So that should be. I think that's my best turret. It's only a level three. That's my best one. Yep, that's it. So. I'm gonna gun turret. Mm. More ammo, I suppose I should keep that. And. Med kits, I don't know how injured I'm expecting to get, but you never know. because they're for the melee combat. Measure of bread plus. They're for the 44 Magnum. She's had a revolver. The scub thing was badass. What else do we got? Bring water. We'll need that for sure. And then... Um, Oh yeah, my arm up here. I can't fit it all in. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'm going to use a shotgun first anyway. I'll have to just bring ammunition up here. I'm going to go up there. Absolutely refusing to come and fight up here just because of a few spikes. As soon as I go turn me, it goes off and miss. This is where I was fighting them in the last part, mate. Straight in here, straight on that pillar. Jump. It's going down. No, I pressed a four. Wrong button. So that must sort it. 
So all that will be blocked off. So to that square there, where the X is now, that will be blocked off as well. So they'll have no choice but to come this way, that's the plan. Up here, up here, and then they're going to be getting blasted all the way. So let's see how we can place this robo sledge. difficult to place it. I hope I can, I can actually get it in. Oh, it'll go there. This problem is a bit tight. So that it went green, I can get it in here somehow, but it's going to be a bit arse off. Because it will turn 90 degrees, so it's not a problem if it's not straight away pointing at it. I'll let it in, let it in somewhere. Alright, oh, this is going to be a problem when I want to fix it and undo the parakeets on it. Oh, and no, I just got it in. That's because it won't be working that way when it comes up the stairs it will. As long as it can go fully round. That'll do, that'll do, I'm happy enough with it. And get into our again terror. Gotta go. Let's get this. That should be much easier to place. And so that. Let me start swerves or not. There we are. So we go just a bit further forward. How far forward we can I get it now? Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna take them to pieces. So as soon as they get hit by the sledge. Now they've got to get up the stairs and be getting shot. And then... That's the full range of the stairs, pretty much. And then as soon as they get hit by the sledge, they're blasted back into the... Into the path of the bullets. Yeah. So I'm just going to hate this. I'm not that. It's going to be cool. Alright, here's some mags. Them in there. Them. I've got too many med kits, of course, because I'm so fastidious about it. But you gotta have what you gotta have. Drop all this down, this construction stuff. Wrap it all down. So we can get them there. These down at the ammo level. Yeah, I'll just keep the ammo on that one. I'll sort it all out later. So we've got some yucca juice. Put that in that line. Yucca juice, ten water. I'll swap those over before that. Let's put those over like that. Nine of them. Tops that up. And 183 armor piercing. Oh, yeah. 
that's much better. Let's just get them out of the way. Them something like that. Look at you, my beers are separate. I have armor bits and 40 thoughts as well, but I've got 300 there. I can't see me really having to need to use that too much, but it is good. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Uh, when I've got two tins of peas as far as food go, I'll eat more than that during hard night. For sure. I don't want to leave any of my precious cans of sham. Right, let's get back to work. Right, let's get all these upgraded. Because I've got robotics, let me just show you that. I've worked it out. The best perks to get <coughs> are, well, to begin with, it's health. This uh, ca uh, healing factor. Just get them to begin with if you first start now. After that, you want intellect level 10. Grease monkey, 5 out of 5. You can make it. Robotics inventor, 5 out of 5. Robotics Expert. You are now a top expert in robotics. Reload robot weapons 20% faster and reload an extra 50 rounds. Robot active range is 18 meters. Two deployed robots can be active at once. And there they are, folks. Robot Sledge. And... Gunter. A deadly combination. That's... Our pals, the Zeeks, are gonna find out. I'm almost looking forward to Fortnite. Of course, I'll be stood with my shotguns and other guns, but I'm going to go for the pump action mainly because it's so close, and that pump action has got everything on it. So we've got scopes, scope on a shotgun, that's just a bit unusual, but I don't care. And because of the angle. Shooting down here or shooting down the stairs. It, it does more decapitation, which gives me more XP. Which is what I want to see this one. So it's starting to look pretty decent. I'll have to get out that other gun turret to put it next to the one I've because I've taken the one I've taken. And another one of the level one gun turret that can go there. I like to keep that other one on the corner because when they're coming along my bridge they get whacked. So we've got our fighting bunker. I'm going to bother with them because the poor, precious uh, Oh, I blocked off that. That might not be the best idea. I mean, I can stand here and shoot down. But I wanted to stand. Oh, yeah, 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 that's alright, that's alright. It's not ideal, but. You can stand on that corner there and shoot them coming up downstairs with a shotgun. Blast them. I have the schematic for the full auto shotgun, but I can't make steel until I get a crucible. So I really need a crucible. I have only 9 steel left. Not 30, I don't know, but I need to make more steel anyway. So I can, I can do that in the forge only if I have a crucible. As I can't make steel, I can make forged iron ingots, but I can't make steel ingots. So the only ones I've had are ones I've found out. You know, we're journeying around the wasteland of the apocalypse. Right, now I can fill that in. Have I got enough of them? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, we've got one. I don't know, where am I pointing? It's confusing. Uh, right. 
get my orientation. Yes, up there. There. I must stop right there. From home, it's starting to take shape. Now we need block there. One above it, two above it. Let's make another block. And another one up there. Oh no, we won't. Oh, I can't put it in there. Yet. I'm gonna have to leave it off because I'm not sure if that one's level one or level two in the concrete. So this means they can't jump up those spider zombies. This means I just hit that roof. And this gives them two steps when they get to the top step. So I'm going to have to put another one up there as well, another two up there. Make sure that they can. Because the spider zombies would be able to jump from here right up to there. If those blocks were here. So I do have to make sure. I'll let those suckers in. And it's going to just going to in. I'm doing pretty well now. See me running out of cement or concrete mix really fast. I'm just gonna stay here so I use it all up basically. All this will have to be filled in as well. Up to that. Iron bars. Those iron bars there. Not be blocked in. So where I'm still, where that assembly of that shed, um, sledgehammer turret. This is going to have to come down to this level, all the way around, more blocks filled in, up to and including there. So they've only got level too high to come in all the way. It's always too high till they get here. And because they can't jump from behind each other, only the one at the front will be able to jump, which is no problem for me. But it's a problem for them if they want to swarm the base. It's true. They go for the swarm tactic. It's just the zombies basically their own intent. Need up bullets and swarm stuff. Concrete run and it'll be finished and I'll put the fences on. And upgrade them two times. Three times, whatever it is. To make them into the ones that have a thousand hit points. Start to lock the part, isn't it? See if we can get that from here. Yeah. Won't be able to get that one from up here, right? That's on the inside of the stairs. Oh yeah, that's fine. Some real 
close at him. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to be up there. That's where my starting position would be. Shooting down in I was thinking of widening this. So like extend that wall. Because that's only one one block thick. I'm thinking that's the weak point. So if we could take all that down, we might be able to bring the building down. So I might build another wall all the way up. And extend it out. That's where this whatever this charcoal stuff is bring it out so that the wall comes out two blocks to here and then like a, and two blocks further out up to the height of the bars that's three blocks or four blocks and out two that seems like a good idea come on ah well, you know the routine by now, don't you? I'll leg it back to the base. So by not having to, re to keep repairing my main base, this is the idea. Because I don't want to have to keep repairing it all the Because it's so big. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days to find out where they've actually done damage. Can't even tell. What do we got? How many? 270. Can you get any more? Yeah. 362. Alright, so I'll have to love you and leave you. Because I can smell my burgers. And we're going to nearly 50 minutes anyway, so thanks for watching. And, uh, this is where I spend most of my time in my workshop. There's my, there's my workbench over there. Stuff. Camp station's up there. So to put that on the roof. Protected roof, you know. They'll just go in anywhere near it, all the zombies, they tend not to go up to that area. Yeah, thanks for watching, anyway. Bye now.